Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're discussing setting up Sierra chart on a Apple computer operating system. So first you're gonna to go to codeweavers.com and then click on crossover. There you can set up a free trial or buy the software and it will install on your Mac. You can also put it on a Linux system if you're on there. But what this does, it emulates basically a Windows um, machine so you can open up certain applications that are written only for Windows. So Sierra Chart, as you know, is a great platform. However, it is not native to Apple. So you will need to set this up on your Mac if you want to start using Sierra Chart. So go ahead and download the file. You're gonna open it up. And if you have the free trial, you'll get, uh, I think, 14 days where you can use this and try it out. Um, I do actually have a, a um, subscription to it. I bought it. It was well worth it. Um, several other apps that I like to use that are only on Windows are now I can use on my Mac. So um, anyways, walk through the steps of setting it up. You're going to either buy it or do the try now. Okay, now you're going to go to the search bar, type in Sierra Chart. You're going to see it pops up there. You're going to go ahead and hit install. It is going to download Sierra Chart and it is going to run a process for a few minutes. Um, just walk through, hit OK. Um, it's going to set up a folder on your local hard drive um, to emulate it and where they're going to save its files for Sierra Chart. So it has the status bar, it will walk you through as it's going. And then we can open up Sierra Chart when it's done. So you can see this is the normal Sierra Chart installer window. Hit install. Okay, give the installer a few moments to go through the process. And then it's going to say hit close once it's all done. Hit OK. And then you can hit the close button on this application here. OK. After that, you can then open up the Sierra Chart application, enter in your account name, password, and it should get started right away. Um, you can see it loads up. Um, you can start loading charts. You can set up all your settings. This is going to be basically the default that Sierra Chart comes with. So it might take a little bit of time to get everything set up the way you like it. But once you do get it set up, it, it runs very smooth and it is very efficient on a Mac. So I hope you have found this video helpful. I do have a link to the Codeweavers website where if you use it, I do get a little bit of a kickback for you using my link for the crossover application. I do appreciate that if you do use it. Um, and consider liking this video if you found it helpful and subscribing to the channel for future videos. All right, take care.